Hi, this is John Locke. Today I'm answering a SEO question, SEO Q&A. This one in particular is talking about nofollow links and we're going to talk, talk about link sculpting. Uh, so this question comes to us from Reddit. It was another SEO uh, consultant, SEO practitioner, and they were saying, uh, hey, we have a client, they specifically want us to uh, make all the outgoing links uh, from websites. So if they're referencing an article somewhere else like Wikipedia, um, they asked us to make all those links no follows. Uh, what should we do? So for those who don't know, uh, what the client, your client is, is trying to do is an outdated SEO practice called link sculpting. Now, how link sculpting works, uh, think of a web page as a container of liquid. And when you have uh, different links from different sites uh, flowing into that container, it makes it fill up. The more authoritative the website, the, the stronger the page rank uh, of the site that's linking to you, the more page rank you're going to acquire. Uh, and that container fills up. And so uh, your page has a higher page rank. This, this is basically how uh, links help your website go upward. Uh, more authoritative links are better. Uh, a quantity of links definitely is good, but the, the quality of links is, is the most important uh, thing. So what the client is suggesting to you, uh, like I said, by making the outgoing links no follow, uh, those are links that don't pass page rank. And back in the day, like 10, 15 years ago, SEOs would, would do this because the way that page rank used to work a long time ago was, let's say that on a page there's uh, 10 outgoing links. The page rank of, of the page would then be divided into 10. And uh, if the page rank uh, of the page was 80, then each of those outgoing links would be eight points of page rank that would go out uh, to the linked external sites. But the way that it worked 15 years ago is if you put no follows on those, then the remaining uh, page rank would be split among the remaining follow links. Uh, but that doesn't work anymore because Google doesn't, their formula stopped doing that many, many, many years ago. Um, and what's happening is your client read a, a blog post from 10 or 15 years ago and thinks that it's going to, to help their SEO, uh, but Google doesn't even use that anymore. What happens to the remaining page rank in 2019? Uh, let's say that, that you had those same 10 outgoing links. They're going out to, to articles like New York Times or Wikipedia or you know whatever your reference point is that, that you're making a point with your article, but you're referencing another article. And if you make them all no follows, uh, it doesn't pump the remaining page rank into the remaining follow links, but instead it dissipates. So that remaining page rank actually dissipates. It doesn't uh, flow back into the container of page rank. It just disappears and ceases to exist. Uh, and Google changed their formula like this, you know, a dozen years ago because people were abusing it and trying to manipulate search rankings. And the way that it's working increasingly in 2019 and the way that's, that I foresee it happening in 2020 is if, if you want to rank the highest, you're going to have to have the best page, uh, the most authoritative, meaning you know the most sites uh, that, that are linking to you, uh, you know the best quality page. Um, that's how it's got to work. Uh, doing the, the, the parlor tricks is, is going to cease to, to work. Uh, I hope that answers this question. My name's John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. We help manufacturers get more requests for quotes. And we're publishing every single day. We'd love to see you subscribe. If you have an SEO question, leave it in the comments below. We'll answer it in a future video. Until next time, peace.